Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm back for another video. I'm super excited. It's very late as always. I've managed to grab a bit of time uh, to myself. Um, I've got a big cup of coffee here. Um, I'm pretty wired actually and rearing to go. I'm really excited about this video. So in the video today, I'm going to be talking about some really beautiful feminine fragrances that I've been wearing recently and I have worn them a lot. So they're tried and tested. Um, so a few reviews coming up and just some recommendations really of some really nice feminine, affordable, wearable um, majority are for daytime fragrances so if you're looking for a new fragrance um, and something special to make you feel really beautiful I hope you get um, some good ideas from the video so I'm just going to kick off with an honourable mention um, I've actually picked up a new fragrance today it's Anna Shui Lucky Wish now I had a little tester of this and when I initially tested it, I really didn't like it at all. It was kind of like a sort of polish kind of um, air freshener type smell and just completely dismissed it. And then on getting home and it developing and it actually getting stronger as the time went on. It was, it's very strange because it's quite a light kind of... Um, fresh fragrance but it really developed a lot of depth and it became super super fresh really really fresh and my husband said oh I like that you know what's that and I was like oh do you like it and he said it's really really nice um so I've gone back and yeah I've tried it again and thought okay I'll give this one a go so it's Anna Shui Anna Shui a lucky wish and I think the packaging and things it's quite sort of teenagey I'd say very young I think it'd make a really nice young person's gift um, but you know I love young fragrances still I can't help it um, and um, why not why not go for a youthful fragrance so um, it's got a very pretty bottle I think that young girls would just love this um, and yeah, it's just super burst, real freshness. I've looked at the notes in this one as well. So it's lemon, tangerine, bamboo, freesia, orchid, orange blossom, and then a base of amber musk and sandalwood. So I'm going to be spraying, I think, all of these tonight because this is kind of my little fragrance evening that I never get. I haven't had for months and months. So I'm going to spray a lot tonight and um yeah it's got this kind of initial like i say sort of air freshener i think it's the citrus um vibe going on which i've actually been finding in a lot of my fragrances quite unpleasant recently i've got machino I'm digressing slightly because I'm not recommending this one. It's a um, <laughs> Machino um, Pink Bouquet. And I came across this one and gave it a spray. And it was just pure polish, table wood polish. I just can't get around it. And I used to like this one when I first got it. I mean, to be fair, I've not really worn it a lot but um, I, I did used to like it when I first smelt it. And now, um, just getting that real kind of air freshness smell. And I do actually have, you know, it's a beautiful bottle. And I did want to mention this one just briefly on the video. Because if anyone's in Australia who's watching, you know, do comment. And I'm really happy to send this out if anybody would like it. Because it's a full bottle and you know I've never worn it just a few little spray like a quick spray um and I know I've not really sold it to you being polish and air freshener but who knows it might smell differently 
um, on you or it you know you might not get that vibe from it I mean maybe you like this one and if you do and you happen to live in Australia as I say I'm really happy to just post it out um, because I just can't see myself wearing this one it's a real shame because um, this was a gift and I just loved all the packaging and everything but I just can't see myself with that one um, and then the Anna Shui this one um, had that vibe but it, it does it does deepen and it does it does evolve and it does change and I, I really do like it so that's just a new little purchase that I've had today cute little 30 ml bottle very affordable oh and it's super fresh if you're looking for a fresh fragrance I'd really recommend it very very fresh so that was just a quick honourable mention so I better crack on with some of the fragrances in the video that I'm going to recommend um, so the first one that I've been wearing quite a lot of recently is Davidov Davidoff Davidov Davidoff uh, Run Wild and I wanted this one for a long time I, there was just something about the name of the perfume which I'm really always um, I'm always drawn in by an unusual name. I'm, I'm a real kind of sucker for that kind of thing. And the green packaging as well. And I've really not been disappointed with this one. It's a perfect daytime fragrance. Um, the notes are um, pistachio cream, pomegranate, jasmine and sandflower. It's quite unique. It's quite unusual. Um, it's a juicy floral, marketed as. Um, I love the bottle. It's, again, I think just a 30ml. Just fits really nicely in your hand. It's got a really nice solid lid. Um, and you can really just spray it nice and liberally. Um, it's not overwhelming. Um, it kind of has got like a bit of a woodsy type vibe for me it kind of reminds me of like a fresh green forest after the rain and I don't quite know where the green vibe comes from because I don't think it's got green notes in it but that's just the vibe it gives me um, and um, yeah it's maybe one that's not talked about so often and just really really like this one so it's definitely worth checking out and as I say everything I'm talking about is quite affordable you know they're, they're good blind buys because we can't really go and sample um so much at the moment of course in shops so um we are blind buying a lot online and i think a lot of these i'm mentioning hopefully would be reasonably safe blind buys as well so that's the first one the next one i've just completely fallen in love with it's becoming like one of my kind of top probably top 20 all time um it's just it's so bright and sparkly it's got this champagne note in it um which makes it quite unusual so it's lacoste pour l and there's a huge range of these which i'm dying to try more of this is the french panache um, fragrance so it's black currant bergamot top with pink pepper um, more jasmine rose the champagne note and a base of patchouli musk and white woods um, the bottle I could just caress it all night this is another 30 ml but I've got to get a bigger bottle of this but it's just so so just give it some love i love the red of course it's very chic daytime fragrance you wouldn't think maybe from lacoste that that is what you were going to get but it's very sophisticated this one really special if you've got like a lunch date or if you can go out somewhere at the moment uh, that's very special this is this is perfect it's uh it's it's very very um classy really classy i'd highly recommend it really really nice um it's made me feel really special 
Um, and if I need cheering up a little bit, I've been wearing it, making me feel, um, you know, very feminine. It's a really nice one. So that's my next one that I'd recommend. So next, um, being here in Australia, I have had some beach days and on a nice hot day, um, it's been my go-to, of course, um, classic bronze goddess. This is the Eau Fraiche skin scent. And, you know, this one, just very nostalgic, um, it's just basically a summer holiday in a bottle. Um, if you've not ever smelt this one, it's coconut. Um, it's coconut, sandalwood, vanilla. Uh, there's jasmine, mandarin, amber, all sorts of really yummy things going on. But for me, I just get the, the coconut, sun cream. Um, you're off on your holiday. You know, and I think, oh, it just, it just takes me to the beach and just happy times, just happy, happy times. And I think with a lot of us not being able to go on holiday, um, it makes this one all the more, um, it's quite emotional actually. I mean, I feel I feel really lucky to be able to go to a beach, actually, um, when so many people at the moment can't. And um, this, to me, though, is holidays gone by. It's it's the whole holiday experience, you know, getting on the plane, duty free, arriving, hotel, just just good times it, it's really just good times it's 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 bronze goddess what can i say um if you've never sampled it it's perfect for summer and um yeah do check it out um i think they reformulated this and some reviews say it's not as good as the original um so it's worth sampling and trying um to see what you think but yeah, so that's Bronze Goddess. Amazing. So the next fragrance um, I've been trying out is Coach. Now, this is really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, it's raspberry top, Turkish roses and a suede musk. Um, it hasn't got a lid, which is quite unique and I enjoy so you have to sort of twist it to open and close it this is just femininity sophisticated perfect daytime fragrance it is so so lovely I've seen bad reviews not bad reviews but mm, it's okay it's nothing special and um, I do use my own judgment of course when it comes to reviews and when I'm sure about a fragrance it's all irrelevant because I don't really mind if um, people are saying that because to me I mean this this smells very expensive it smells um, you know it's kind of along your sort of your modern muse your Estee Lauder um, kind of Chloe type fragrances but um, much more affordable um, and you really do get the beautiful roses um, it's so feminine it's just it's just so lovely so so beautiful that the floral in there the deepness of the musk coming through um, the kind of more kind of um, sweet raspberry I'm going to have a little spray of this one, actually. Let's see if I get it the right way. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, so nice. So nice. I just don't think you can go wrong with this. As, as a woman, I really don't think... I don't see how maybe many women could smell that and not think oh yeah that's really nice 
And it's kind of got the, I always use this analogy, which is very weird, but like a department store, your, your, your best perfume counter, you're in the perfume department, you walk in and that smell, it, it, it just, um, what's the word? It just, it, it just is around you. It just, it's just. I can't think straight what word I'm looking for, but it envelops you. That's the word I was after. I knew it began with an E. It, it just envelops you and it's this beautiful, beautiful smell. And this just is that kind of, oh, it, it's just that smell, which I just love. It's just so pretty. It's really, really nice. And it's got this sort of tinkly little bottle that's just really cute um and the coach element it's a new york based house and you know just the whole new york thing going on and yeah it's um it's it's a super super little fragrance so check that one out um if you haven't already Oh, so the next fragrance now i might just take a little drink so it doesn't all go cold I'm so sorry. I really hate it when people do that on videos, but I can see why they do it now. My throat's a bit dry. Now, the next fragrance that I've been trying recently is Mongolan. Now, oh, I don't know where I've gone wrong with this. I think it's because I've got the eau de toilette. Because when I first smelt this, when it first came out, amazing loved it gorgeous you know that beautiful vanilla oh, gourmand oh lovely beautiful and so I bought this all packaged I didn't even bother test I was like I'm gonna go for that one I want Mongolan in my collection and then when I opened it and smelt it no no, there's something wrong with this. There's something going on. And I hate to say the, the, the air freshener again. <laughs> but I think it's this citrus. I'm very sensitive to citrus smells, I think. I don't know what it is. But it's just, no, there's something in there. Is it the lavender? I don't know what it is, but it was just... Oh, I was disappointed. I really was disappointed. And I think that it, it definitely dried down into vanilla. I definitely got the, the, the started to get the powdery, um, you know, lovely gourmand deliciousness that I was after it. It did come that, that vibe, but there's still something in this that I just don't like. Um, so I wonder if I should have got the Eau de Parfum and that's where I've gone wrong. Let me know in the comments if you're an expert on Mongolan. Um, so anyway, what I decided to do because I wasn't so keen 100% is I've made this like my, one of my work fragrances. Um, once I, I'm very strange because if I wear a fragrance to work it's kind of uh written off then it's like it's a work fragrance it's in that bracket um I could never wear it on a Saturday I couldn't wear it on a holiday it's a work fragrance so it you know I have to be sure when I choose a work fragrance that it, it's gone to that bracket and and this has so that that shows me that you know I'm really it's okay, but um, it's not. Um, it's not not going to be, you know, one of my greats, um, and it's very very strong as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's 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 lovely. It is lovely, um, but you only need. I've perfected this now for work because I'm quite a liberal sprayer, and it you just can't with this. It's just overwhelming. So it's literally just spray on my chest, one behind each ear, done all day, lasts all day, 
very strong you know you can really smell it around me um i've had you know a few compliments uh, well, i think they're compliments because it's some of the children who i work with and they say one of them said i smell pretty like green tea and i'm thinking oh green tea that's a bit random um <laughs> so i know they can smell it but what it smells like hopefully it's pleasant um you definitely do get the vanilla and things i've got this huge bottle now to get through it's going to take me years so overall i think i think maybe you might be better off with the eau de parfum um but do do chip in in the comments and help others out if you like this one what could it be that i'm smelling that i just don't I just don't like I it, it could be the orange it's got mandarin orange it's lavender oh anyway so that's Mongolam. so the next fragrance is um i've had this gift set for quite a while and it featured on a video just before i came to australia i think uh, back in the uk and it's we juicy couture um, and this has just been a really nice um, fresh fragrance gorgeous bottle love pink and red together best combination ever so this has been my after shower fragrance just of an evening had a shower put this on very very fresh um, it is watermelon, tea, pear, jasmine again. I think they've all had jasmine in them so far. Tuberose, honeysuckle, amber, musk. So just really nice and fresh. Feels really nice. Beautiful bottle. Very pretty. I do have a shower gel here that I've not, not partaken of yet. I don't tend to use the, the shower gels um, in gift sets so much. But um, yeah, so that's another one. It's a nice one. I'd recommend it just if you're after something nice and simple, nice and fresh. Little bit different with the bottle. Looks beautiful um, on your dressing table. So that's another good one. Um, the next fragrance, it's another uh, Juicy Couture actually, it's um, Viva Le Juicy, which I know, um, you know, is talked about a lot and lots of people have smelt it, but I actually hadn't ever smelt it um, and I came across this little $10, uh, you know, small bottle and thought, oh, that's good, I'll try that and have really enjoyed it. I don't feel like it's anything, you know, how, how, you know, people talk about how sexy this one is, you know, like, I think, is it, is this the one that Jeremy Fragrance talks a lot about being, you know, really, really sexy? I know it's one of the Juicy Coutures, is it Viva La Juicy? I'm not sure, but whenever I have worn this, I have had compliments from my husband. He really likes it. So that's all good. And, you know, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, I, I don't personally think it's over the top. It's uh, mandarin orange, honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, caramel, praline, vanilla, amber and sandalwood which obviously must give it that lovely gourmand, um, delicious kind of want to eat you sort of vibe going on. I might have a little spray of this one. Hmm. That just smells very synthetic, actually, initially. I'll have to wait for that one to... Yeah, I'll have to give that a a few minutes. I've definitely found it's 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 fine. You know, it's kind of Charlie Gold kind of vibe going on. 
for me, like a kind of like a Charlie fragrance, Charlie type fragrance. Um, but I think, you know, it must be reasonably sexy with all of the things that people say about it. And from what my husband said as well, you know, it's fine. So, you know, that's another one to maybe consider. Um, I don't know if I would go and buy a bigger bottle of it. I think I'm pleased to have sampled it. I think there's sexier fragrances out there. Um, a few of which I'm just going to talk about actually um, in a moment. So um, the next fragrance is another one that um, has recently just become just one of my favourites, favourite favourites. And this was like $15. I know it's very affordable. So it's a Scarded Joyful. Um, just the beautiful packaging. The bottle, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. So it's just got that beautiful bottle. So this one is Mandarin Orange. I think they're all Mandarin Orange and Jasmine. It's ridiculous. Now this one's actually Peony, Magnolia, Nectarine, Violet, Honey and Sandalwood. And, oh, there's the front of the bottle, sorry. This one is just so floral, so beautifully floral and feminine. Just absolutely gorgeous. It is so unbelievably nice. <laughs> it really is. I'm going to have to have another little spray. It's just the flowers. It's just like being in an English country garden in the summer. That's just how it feels to me. It's just so floral. It, it must be it must be the violets, peony, the magnolia. It's just so beautiful, so beautifully composed and just takes you by surprise just because it's so affordable. And, you know, it just shows me that you really don't have to pay for these niche fragrances, you know, that are hundreds of dollars. Um, you know, of course, there's some beautiful niche fragrances out there amazing um but don't kind of discriminate because something's cheaper and dismiss it because they say that this is actually a clone or even not even a clone but if, you know very um similar to creed spring flower um so they say it's kind of very very similar oh it's so nice it's so nice. I think if there's one, oh, I'd recommend them all that I'm talking about though, but this is definitely up there as one. I would definitely recommend you give it a go. If you like really floral feminine fragrance, nice and fresh, um, do give it a go. If you like fruity florals, <clears throat> so nice. So that is Escada Joyful. So the next fragrance that I've been wearing quite a bit, this has gone into the work, um, the work bucket. Um, <laughs> this one is um, only NYC, the Fifth Avenue range. So this one is like a sweet shop. If you like sweet fragrances, you know, this really is, it's just, oh, excuse me, I've got... Oh, pins and needles because I'm sitting on the floor um it's it's just sweet it's a sweetie shop and it, it that's just exactly what it smells like if you like Britney Spears types of fragrances those really really sweet um fragrances but this has got a little bit more depth to it there's a little bit more going on that just it's got the it's got the fifth avenue vibe to it you know the original fifth avenue 
vibe that goes through all of these Fifth Avenue fragrances. So it's got that going on with the sweet shop um, vibe and it's very wearable and you can really spray it really liberally and it's quite long lasting. And you can see I've made quite a big dent in that for work um, <clears throat> as it's a big bottle. Oh yeah, it's just sweet, sweet, a sweet shop. So again, very affordable if you like sweet fragrances. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'd really recommend checking that one out. So that's only NYC. And loving the packaging, it's the pink one of the range. Okay, so I'm coming to near, nearly coming to the end. Um, so um, some fragrances that I've really been enjoying. They're actually um, Australian um, make. Uh, they're called. They're from a company called Glass House. They're an Australian company, and I think they tend to do candles and home fragrances. Wow, that's very reflective um <laughs> this beautiful box um they do kind of home fragrance and i think they've recently just bought out fine fragrances and so i bought this sample box um and really very happy with this really happy um there isn't a fragrance in here yet that i've tried that i don't like um they're all very very nice um and you know i'd really recommend checking this house out they're very affordable as well my favorite one so far because i won't talk about them all but is um melbourne muse um which i love the name and maybe i'm a bit biased by the name but they they do also have forever florence um they have kyoto in bloom um Oh, I love this one as well. This was very sexy, actually. I felt really nice wearing this. It's called Midnight in Milan. Oh, yeah. Mm. This, this is very nice. And I felt very, very beautiful wearing this. Really, really nice. So that was the Midnight in Milan. Um, I think they're unisex. I think they're supposed to be unisex. And I definitely do see that. I'm not a big fan of unisex fragrances normally because I'm quite girly and I like I like womanly, feminine smelling fragrances. But um, there's something quite unique about these. And I, I can get the unisex vibe, but I do think that one is more bordering on the feminine um it's called midnight in milan the melbourne muse is just a delicious coffee flower and vanilla fragrance it's delicious oh it's so nice i'm gonna have to just have another little spray of this one oh coffee in a fragrance I don't think I've smelled coffee since, is it black opium? Not not worn coffee for a long time. Love it. Absolutely love it. So nice. Oh, so nice. Really nice. And I think for about $25, you can get a lovely kind of, I think a bit like the Juicy Couture size, I think for about $25. Um, it's really one I'm definitely going to get, Melbourne Muse, and I'm looking forward to sampling the others as well. It's a lovely gift as well. So if you haven't heard of Glass House, check them out. There it falls. <laughs> check them out. Um, I'd really recommend you checking them out. And another house um, that I've been trying out recently, I've tried them all now actually, is a map of the heart which is another australian house um they have these very unusual heart-shaped bottles and um i did do a video actually which i might try and link below just on these but i hadn't sampled them yet now they do all the different kinds of um hearts so 
just quickly show you. You've got um, the clear heart, which I wasn't that keen on that one, actually. You've got purple heart, pink heart, and you get the idea, etc. Red heart. They're very unique. They're very distinctive. And of the fragrances that I've talked about in this video, these are the only niche fragrances um, that I've used recently. And, you know, they are very expensive. It's going into like your hundreds of dollars for a bottle of one of these. So, you know, I've just enjoyed using the, the samples. And they're very unique. They're very... Um, you're either going to love them or you're going to hate them. And a couple of them I, I haven't liked at all, actually. A couple of them um, I've thought, yeah, not, not bad. For example, the Purple Heart is licorice and black fruits, kind of like a cherry vibe, you know, nice, nice. I, I enjoyed it. It wouldn't pay hundreds of dollars, though. But the one that has really grabbed me, which is the one I wanted to just talk about um is the black heart the black heart and <clears throat> i think that um kind of as a person and as we all are as as women you know we have lots of different sides to us and you know i'm not always in the mood for a, you know a girly floral pretty fragrance Though a lot of the time I am, but sometimes, you know, I just want something that is a little bit different. And this one is um, very, very sexy. It, this, oh, it's so sexy. And I think it's sexy on me. I think if I smelt this on a man, oh, I don't know what would happen because... <laughs> <laughs> if I can explain the notes in this. Now, it's black pepper. It's the kind of tobacco, leathery, um, smoky, gasoline kind of smell. Um, now, a lot of people go, oh, yuck. Oh, oh my gosh, disgusting. For me... The smokiness, oh, it's just so sexy. And I did spray this this evening. I've sprayed too many now, though. I want to spray it again. I just want to keep spraying it, and I've hardly got any left. I've lost it. It's kind of like um, a, a really freezing cold morning. In the morning. The, like a stale, cold smoky foggy morning it's that smoky and i think this is based on bushfires actually <laughs> it's so random but it's, <laughs> it's such an unusual concept this black heart look quite weird actually but and they're talking about bushfires and things you know mysterious woods and spices it's an impolite mix of opposites it's for the bold and the brave it's dangerous you know it's um it's haunting almost yeah it's very seductive yeah there's something very very nice going on very sexy and when i smell it it i don't know what it is but it reminds me of scotland kind of in the highlands like a, a desolate empty old abandoned house and it's dark and the moon's out and you know maybe there's a really sexy scottish man <laughs> who's quite hunky in the shadows i think i'll stop there but it you know that's what it kind of conjures up um, I think it's um it's a very very sexy fragrance, and if you like um smoky fragrances, tobacco, um, man or woman, I would really recommend getting a sample. 
this was about $30, so you could sample them all. Um, I'd love to get a bottle if I had $250 handy. I would definitely love a bottle of this. Um, so, yeah, maybe you could check out some of the YouTube reviews of this one. Map of the Heart, Black Heart, 